one of the next frontiers in computing is all to do with quantum computing. Now you can use the word quantum in a lot of different ways. We're talking about here qubits and the ability to compute using quantum level, basically no longer binaries, zeros and ones. So today's announcement is more to do with how quantum computing can come to the rest of us. And uh, it seems that Ampere computing in association with Rigetti computing are going to bring quantum computing to the cloud. What's your minimum specification? Well, shucks, the cloud is here, but which cloud do you trust? Manage your infrastructure with Linode, the biggest independent cloud services provider. Linode offers double the database performance per data than the big four, and now enhances it further with new NVMe-backed block storage. Spin up a game server, website, personal VPN, or something more bespoke today with a free $100 60-day credit at linode.com slash techdeppotato. So when we say quantum computing, most people think of those big steampunk chandeliers, the ones that IBM and Google like to show off every time they talk about quantum computing. There are a lot of companies in this space trying to find the best way to do everything. There are generally two types of qubits that we talk about. There are transmon superconducting qubits, or to do with Cooper pairs and be able to, being able to confine them in the box. Most companies in this market deal with transmon qubits. However, Intel went and ditched transmon qubits to deal with spin qubits. Spin qubits is all about trying to take electrons and being able to manage their spins and use them as a quantum state. Both situations involve very, very low temperatures. That's why we see these big steampunk chandeliers bringing temperatures down to hundredths of a Kelvin above absolute zero. All those metal pipes, all the control circuitry, they're all involved in trying to get the chip that does the compute with all the qubits down to a low temperature. Now, because at that low temperature, you've got minimal thermal variation in energy states, that's really where you want to be. However, not all qubits can be coherent all the time. So most of the time, we will see companies talk about effective qubits rather than actual qubits. And this is uh, ba basically you're using some qubits to reinforce uh, the data of other qubits. It's basically um, error correcting inside of itself. But you'll see companies like Intel trying to develop their own chips, own control chips that even work down at those low temperatures, just trying to get uh, everything to work. Now, the announcement today is with a company called Rigetti Computing, who have transmon qubits. They have developed a chip that does 40 of those qubits, and they developed packaging technology where they can package multiple chips together in the same chandelier. So you can have 40 qubits, 80 qubits, and they say their technology scales up to hundreds of qubits. This is still in the process of being developed, but in the meantime, they're partnering with Ampere Computing. Now, if you hear Ampere and you think NVIDIA GPUs, this isn't that. Ampere Computing have been around uh, for a number of years now, headed up by Rene James, who was ex-Intel, and it's formed of engineers who used to be part of the Applied Micro X-Gene product family, but also a number of Intel's older Atom engineers are involved as well. They developed a product over the last couple of years called Ampere Ultra, and it essentially tries to pit against um, Amazon's Graviton 2 using Neoverse N cores. Their next generation Siren product built on 5 nanometer, and I believe it's coming out sometime this year, is going to be using their own custom ARM V9 cores. That's going to be interesting. But the partnership here between Rogetti and Ampere is to say, look, Quantum is going to be not only used on-premise at individual companies for their own use, say, like, attached to supercomputers, it's also going to be available in the cloud. And currently, cloud resources are mostly CPUs with some GPUs. What if you had cloud resources that were CPUs and quantum processing units, or QPUs? The partnership here is to essentially develop an ecosystem whereby you can have instances of quantum computing paired with instances of Ampere compute. So not only do you have you know, the number of qubits you need for your computation, whether that's 40, 80, or hundreds, and if you need more, you can scale up more, paired with a hardware backbone of ARM 
based chips provided by Ampere. Now, Ampere's Ultra Max does 128 cores, and you can fit, uh, was it two per two per blade, four blades per two U, and that gives you a thousand and twenty-four. Yeah, that, my my math works out there. Thousand twenty-four threads in a two U. It's meant to be designed great for services and parallel compute, and also next generation of Siren is going to be all, also focused on that sort of services market. The idea here between Rigetti and Ampere is actually going to be focused on machine learning. So their goal over the next uh, year, year and a bit, is to develop a proof of concept combining both uh, main CPU compute and quantum compute, and then build it out as a proof of concept for cloud. And they're currently working with tier one cloud partners to essentially bring this product to market sometime during 2023, which is about 10 years earlier than I thought it would be. So the thing is, with machine learning, where exactly does the quantum compute come in? Rigetti are saying that they're finding instances where they can implement quantum computing to accelerate both training and inference of machine learning workloads. They want to be able to use standard APIs when they develop their software stack for people outside the company to use. But they're also working with future customers who have kind of put their name, their pen, the name down pen to paper of exactly what workloads they have and they're going to be using those as kind of like the the starting point for this proof of concept going through to next year. The announcement today is specifically about Rigetti and Ampere being paired together as part of you know Ampere's vision of being a cloud native processor. Rigetti's argument here is, is they're building cloud native quantum computing units, so they need to be paired with a cloud native processor company like Ampere. So it sounds like x86 won't quite do it for this just yet. Or ever. Let's see where it goes. What the interesting thing here going forward is going to be is whether you can actually get your cloud instances in fractions of one of those steampunk you know, quantum computing chandeliers. We used to be in a situation with CUDA, with GPUs, where you could only have one person using that GPU at a time. Now we have GPUs that you can actually subdivide between multiple VMs, multiple instances. Will we get there with quantum computing one day? It's going to be interesting to find out. My minimum specification here is going to be price. Now, those quantum systems ain't cheap, especially when you know companies are only building tens or less than tens of them rather than you know, hundreds of thousands of CPUs like Ampere might be with the next generation. It's going to be interesting where the you know, cost fits in and how exactly they're going to be navigating specific customers versus general customer use. Uh, that might be another year or two further down the line. But we could see Rigetti and Ampere being the first to offer cloud quantum computing. Now, ain't that a thing? If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have now a private Discord server. And if you want access to that, become a Patreon member and it'll instantly add you as long as your emails are linked. You can join the Patreon for as little as $1.50 a month, and it all goes back into helping the channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you.